Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Stranded Alien Dawn. Literally, like, five seconds after I ended the last video, we've got, uh, toxic ash showing up, so people are gonna have shortness of breath and whatnot. But we're gonna move our balloon out here. And that is going to allow us to expand our stockpile here. People are gonna have shortness of breath out here. There's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. Ready printer is still chugging along. We still have plenty of alloys. I think we have plenty of silicone as well. Yeah, we have 155. And these guys should be very close to harvestable. Toxic Ash minus 10% growth rate. Of course. How are you guys doing? You okay with the Toxic Ash? Do we have berries to tame a new a new one? We don't. The berries are growing, though. Alright, the balloon has been moved. Time to expand the storage unit. Uh, camp. I always forget. I always think it's in storage, but it's just the shelter out here. There we go. And then the nice thing about that is we can go ahead and just expand this guy out. Or just copy, I guess. And look at that. We've already, like... Well, we doubled our space. I was gonna say quadrupled, but that makes zero sense. <laughs> Construction materials only. Disconnected device? Oh, duh. <laughs> it's just off by itself. Let's see here. Power, power pole, wood. And I think we just stick it along the back side of the house here. And the nice thing about that is then if we, when we add guns to the upper level here, they should be connected as well. Scavenged some more scrap metal. Waiting on three more electronics to get more batteries going. The nice thing though is that having this thing done first uh, once it gets attached to the power supply, it's really gonna, like, juice up the batteries pretty quickly. Alright, things are being constructed. We should probably check on our expeditions again. Maybe we don't want to send anybody out into the wilderness while the toxic ash is still falling, though. Reach construction one. Good job, Vanessa. Look at you. Building... A shelter made out of sticks. <laughs> yeah, now we have, like, so much room for activities out here. Exciting. I wonder... There it is. I was like, I can never find the leisure thing. I was gonna say, I, I think we should stick a shooting target out here, though. Because then they can practice and gain, like, gun ability without, uh, gain gun ability without having to actually fight things. I just want to select the sticks wall. Change it for... wood yeah because i was thinking i built these out of sticks because they're cheap but the beetles have been sneaking in to the base and attacking the tower i want something that's a little more robust and we have plenty of wood or we had plenty of wood before i <laughs> said i before i spent a thousand wood harvesting uh or building a a, a new um expanse to our base here but there's lots of wood around, like, there is zero shortage of wood in this, this part of the world. I'm very excited for the fields to, to finally finish, and we can, we can jumpstart our food again. I want to tame this guy so badly, but not having blueberries is, uh, is rattling me. And these ones are gonna grow, take forever to get up there. And these ones haven't even reached growth, poten like, their full growth potential. So these are the only ones we could actually harvest when they're ready. 
How's research coming along? I suppose carbon crossbow just to get it taken care of. And then carbon fortifications. Is this all there is to the research? Have I just powered through the entirety of what you can build in this game and, and <laughs> like, in a very short amount of time? It's a little crazy. The motion sensor is very interesting to me. I like the idea that we could set up two of them, or maybe even, like, you could set them up in quadrants here. Like, you could set one up in this corner, have all your guns and lights, um... That's actually really a, a cool idea to me, is set them up quadrant-wise, that way if, like, enemies come in there, it turns all of your lights and guns on automatically. Because there, you'd have, like, circuit 7, 8, 9, 10, and all of your things would be gridded up in a quadrant. So the guns back here would be associated with motion sensor 7 or whatever it is. I like the idea. It's just we need a lot more CPUs than we currently have. And guns to even bother with <laughs> right now, which we don't have either. We don't even have electronics. I am curious about the mech as well. Like, I don't think I would go for combat mech because it's twice as expensive. And I don't know if it's like twice as powerful. It's got missile launchers and machine guns. Like, it's such a tempting idea, but mech core... Man, look at this guy. It's pretty sick. You could just, like, park him right here. Can he walk out, out here, or is he too big? <laughs> is, is, is that a legitimate problem? Should I be building the mech outside so he can at least get outside and fight things? I don't know. That's actually an interesting idea. Tell me in the comments what you think. <laughs> if, I, if he can get out of the gate or not. Oh, funny. What happened to the glutch who was like hanging out in our... Our personal space? He disappeared. Heptagonia? Oh yeah, we can make sweet syrup out of that. I was like, what, what does that do? Can we harvest you? I guess I don't know. I, I think once it is grown, we can not harvest it. It's kind of weird that I can't queue it for harvest, but... Are you guys okay out here? Oh, you were sleeping. Old equipment. Who, who's got the old equipment? Oh, yeah! And this was another thing that was pointed out in the comments was, uh... That having guns and such equipped actually degrades over time. Rather than they actually, when they fire the gun or when they stab something with a spear, they degrade over time. So I actually should, I should have done this last episode, but I, did, I didn't even think about it. But I should have a wardrobe set up down here that is just for weapons. And then uh, have, have them store all the weapons in here. And then when people want to get ready to fight stuff, we could come in here and have everybody or I guess we wouldn't we wouldn't have to come in here we'd just go through their inventory and tell them to grab stuff we'll have a lot go that the one thing that um the motion sensors would really help with is if we have everything like queued up on on motion sensors then we don't have to worry about managing our guns and whatnot And then people could just worry on, uh, worry about their equipment. Still low food supply. But we have plenty of meat soup. All we have is meat soup. Research railgun snipers. Now, we gotta compare the railgun to the pistol. So this takes carbon nanotubes, power cell, and CPU core. So it's a similar thing to, a. Uh, a pistol, except it's using carbon instead of instead of alloys, which is kind of nice because it kind of frees up the alloy requirements for guns anyway. But it has higher range; it's like twice the range of the basic laser pistol. Takes four to six seconds to shoot, so it takes a lot longer to shoot. 
a much higher hit chance, 80 to 90, and then the crit chance is super high as well. I honestly think that one's pretty solid. I think we'd probably put our two our two best fighters, so Lara and Krista, would have snipers, and then the other team would get would all get like basic pistols. I think I would push that ahead of Laser Pike. We got the other battery! Yes! If we got lucky with some of our salvaging out here, it'd be pretty cool to find more electronics. I think we got like seven electronics once. Like, super lucky, but... Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> I say that all the time. Remove this field. Remove this field. Let's go ahead and expand out our smoke leaf because people really like the tea and that seems like a nice thing to do for people let's do it like that do we we that's only really for medicinal balm so i don't think that really matters do a little more buttermelon but the field doesn't really fit correctly We don't really need grasses. And Cloth Blossom we have a big field for. So maybe we just leave it alone for now. Solar Eclipse? No! No! We're doomed. All of our stuff is like solar powered. <laughs> Toxic Ash and a Solar Eclipse is the world ending? Alright, well we've almost finished our base here. We've... We've just got the defensive towers to manufacture. I would love for this toxic ash to go away so we could, like, send somebody out to... to get stuff. Harvestable! Heck yeah! Yes, they're harvesting the grain! Fantastic news. Good job, Lara and Rita. Solid farmers across the board. Grayson, where are you going? Oh, you're building the defensive towers! Everything's coming up, Millhouse. We haven't seen an enemy invasion in a long time either. Cross your fingers. It's like asking to get attacked. A shooting star! Okay. I will I will go after it as soon as the toxic ash goes away. I'm so tempted by the missile launcher. I just love the idea of parking this thing like in the middle of the base and letting it just fire away. <laughs> I kind of like it actually. I, you know, we're gonna be a little weird. Let's go ahead um, and build, let's build like a, a missile tower in the middle of our farm field out here. Good job, Krista, gain, gain some physical fitness. Let's go wood bottom. Let's go wood walls and do the three by so they can they'll do it and then we can close the wall and then wood ceiling whoops and then what we do is we get oops we do our wood balcony on either side And then we can stick two missile turrets on top of this dang thing, and then they can just launch away. Research elevators, good job. Yoko's out here just going for a jog. Yeah, we're down to s seven things to research in the rest of for the rest of the game. So I guess we'll just queue up stuff in order of how long it takes to research it, and then uh, let. Is it Krista who does our researching primarily? I think it is. All right. One tower out of five built. Very exciting. Let's go ahead and fast forward through the evening. I'm excited for... Our food is finally starting to recover. Where did all the grain you harvested go? Oh, is it just sitting out here in the ground? 
You maniacs, put it away. Hacking it down. Put it, put, go, put the food away, you crazy people. That is a wild idea. To be sh <laughs> shooting at it from across the, across the field, you maniacs. Still harvesting. Are you guys gonna put the food away, or are you just gonna leave it on the ground? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Kana, for being a responsible community member. What is this? <laughs> it's like, why is there an orange thing in the in the elfin pen? All right. Can't reach sticks wall. Oh, you know what? It's the wall facing the... It's the wall facing... Oh, shoot. It's the wall facing the... Oh, man. It's the wall facing our concrete wall out there. Don't deconstruct all this. I've been a long time <laughs> fixing this all up. All right. Uh, let's deconstruct this wall. There we go. Now you should be able to do, to reconstruct everything else. And then same thing over here. And then uh, we can add the wall back when they're done. All right, cool. I'm, I'm happy with how that's set up. How's the electronics coming along? Two electronics, still no CPU cores though. Awaiting materials. This should be like somebody's highest priority. Like who doesn't mind just delivering stuff? Like right now it's Vanessa is construction and delivering. Where is Vanessa? There she goes. Maybe it's just she has a lot of stuff to deliver. So maybe I shouldn't uh, chew her out too much. And we could get some of those drones going. If I if I knew where to make them. <laughs> I'm like, Hi, you don't 3D print a drone, right? Yeah, no. I don't know where you make a drone. Yes, yeah, unless it's tools? Oh, respirator mask. That's where it is. The the mask is, not the, the drone. It takes synthetic textiles and ore. Huh. Oh, we can send people out. I don't know if the... I don't know if the media... Oh, Shooting Star is still there. Okay. Uh, Lara, you're back at it. Out you go. Have fun. Last time she went out, she, she found like a good luck charm or something. The survival kit has 10 emergency rations in it. That is wild. Maybe you should have that. Before you go on your expedition. Just in case. I'm almost thinking it would be good to build out even more... Even more traps. Like, basically, traps are super cheap. And they're a good way to, like, catch bad guys. And if they get caught outside the base, we're just going to expand our smiley face of doom here. How, how did I set this up? It was like... Like that. Yeah, I like this. And then I guess we'll do two here, because a lot of times they'll come surging in to the wall and then they'll like worm their way around. So I like this this setup I have here. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, you're tiny. A tiny mantis. <gasps> All right, we've got two alpha dogs. We got two man-eating glutches and a bunch of baby scissor hands. Omnivore. Aggressive. Okay. They're very close, but not close enough that I'm super worried about them ganking somebody uh, while they're moving around. You guys finishing these these defenses would be absolutely cool. I would love that for me. Power 
might be a problem. So I think I want to turn you guys off. For now. Expedition complete. Found a military grade reinforced crate where the meteor fell. It's quite damaged, but its contents should be okay. Dope! Did she find some guns? I love guns. <laughs> in this game, I know nothing about guns in real life. Hey, get back to work. Also you. I would love, uh, Yoko, what are you doing? You're working out. Krista's over here. Kana, come turn these off. Handle. Yeah, we want to finish these defenses before the night is, is out. At least most of them. I want to turn this power off because the... The wind turbines have lost juice as well, and uh, we're we're losing power at a, an alarming rate. And if we need to have our guns on, there we go. There now now our drainage uh, has decreased by about half, which is good news. So if the guns go on uh, in the middle of the night. And we don't have anything supplying power to our, our guns and lights. I think we're in deep trouble. But thankfully it's a smaller wave. 22 total. Two alpha boys. Two glutches, which are not the concern. I wonder how fast... Well, here they come. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder how fast they move. But uh, we're about to find out. So Rita... I, I always forget. Is it Vanessa or Rita who's better at... Combat. It looks like it's Rita. So Rita, you're also up here in the defensive structure. Vanessa, you only have a bow, so I'm gonna put you here. Yoko, come turn this on. And then we'll we'll draft you after the fact. Kana, get over here. Grayson, get over there. We'll see if uh whoops. I don't think they're smart enough to go all the way around. And we could have Yoko go close that gate, actually. Alright, everybody's moving into position. Turrets on. Handle wooden gate. Alright, guns and spotlights are functioning. Here they come, through the woods. It's the big guys first. They're much faster than everybody else. And Yoko actually doesn't have a melee weapon either, so we'll probably throw her up in, in the tower once she... Oh, hey! Lara's back. Never mind. Lara, you get up here. I guess we'll probably just park Yoko behind people then. All right. Here he comes. Good shot. Oh, you got owned. Suck it, nerd. All right, the little guys have a lot of health, weirdly. Too dark. All right, the spotlights are not doing what I thought they would do. <laughs> Let's move up. Okay, there they go. When they get close, I guess they work. I guess the range of the gun kind of outpaces the spotlight. I might have to rethink my lighting thing. Maybe uh, uh, just a bunch of floodlights that illuminate the surrounding area are better than... Are better than the, the spotlights. Although these, when the spotlights zoom in on them, it really lets the turrets go to town. Oh. A couple of them are sneaking in. There we go, flamethrower. Right, the big guy's down. We're down to the little, the little, the little Manti. They're all getting trapped. Traps are working as intended. Two left. One down. Gone. Well done, crew. That went super well. Turn off. People can pass through. Oh, I, I should just leave the gates closed. 
Except when I'm trying to, like, lure enemies in. Uh, everybody else? Undraft. Go, go to bed. Probably pretty tired. Lara's hungry. Lara, did you bring guns back? What happened? Ooh, synthetic leggings, some boots, and a bunch of scrap metal. Okay, I'll take it. I'd rather have a gun, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. All right, and then we can turn you guys back on. So we made it through the evening. How's our food situation looking? Some chew root. Lots of grain, okay. Well, we might as well harvest you boys. Are the scissor hand hatchlings good for meat? Takes... Is that human meat? <laughs> you see this? It says taming food is like a hunk of flesh. It's not the red meat, though. Because if we want to tame tame uh, the, the manti, they, they, they do me red meat. I don't know. I guess we'll butcher... Where did your brother die? Because there were definitely two of you. Did you get killed by a... A rampaging elephant out here? I don't know. Oh! Sure enough, they, they, they got into it with each other. We'll come out here and butcher this dead elfin. Might as well. Thank you for your surface while... Surface... Service wild elfin. And then we will butcher the manhunting glutch uh, as well, if we have time. All right, I'm pretty happy with how the base is coming along now. Things are... Things are looking great. Electronics printing is working as intended. We have three in stock right now. Soon we'll be able to make, uh, well, I guess we're waiting on CPU cores, but we'll be able to make some of our own guns. I think I'll actually put the railgun sniper over the pistol. And then I realized I didn't, uh... I didn't transfer any of the weapon- after I talked about how weapons degrade in people's inventory, I did- and then I built this big guy here. I didn't actually do anything to uh, take people's weapons away so they don't degrade, so. Do as I say, not as I do. But now we're doing it. Aren't you proud of me? Look at that. And as, as we start building actual guns and force sabers and whatnot, uh, look at him go! Uh, it'll be pretty good to... Yeah, I know they're all unarmed. Well, whatever. <laughs> I guess we'll always have that, uh, notification. <laughs> It'll be- actually, it's probably a good reminder for me when- when the assault does come, that I'm like, oh yeah, nobody has a weapon in hand. Thanks for reminding me. Are you guys still queued up to- You're not anymore. How did that happen? Stick wall. Yeah, you're still reconstructing. They'll get around to it, I'm sure. Gotta reset all the traps. Man, that went really well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I'm pretty pleased with the new layer of, uh... Of traps that we have out here. Like, the amount of scrap metal we have on hand, it just, like... Makes sense because the only other thing we're doing with it is turning it into alloy, which you know is valuable But if you can just have a, another layer of traps that bugs could get stuck in and that you know that looks like it eliminated At least three for us to deal with So it's a good thing to do. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how how I'm learning how the defenses work Now the next step is starting to swap this whole thing over to concrete Slowly, but surely. Hey, we've swapped that over to wood. So we can go ahead and close this wooden wall here. Like that. And then we can close this wooden wall, too. Like such. And this one. Our missile platform that we don't have. 
<laughs> quite yet. <laughs> Did you guys? You built the platform though. Man, I'm so excited to actually try this thing. I'm tempted to build it before I build the guns on the back of the building here. Another ceiling lamp. Krista is so furious. Is it because she... Well, she's just tired. Crushingly unhappy. Krista, uh, why don't you take a break? Go, uh... No, don't repair. Go punch a thing. How about... You... Can I not tell Krista to, like, take a break? Play music. I hope she can play music. The other thing I was wondering is maybe I should build a ladder on the back of you. Not, not there. What are you doing? Oh, is it the thing where I need to have it on a floor? I think that is the case. Yeah, it requires floor. All right, we'll do that too. I forgot about the floor. Game soil. Because it's on the soil. Yeah, because I had to do that over here too. I forgot about that. Ta da Yeah, I'm so I'm I'm pumped, like Cause this takes the same CPU metal you know demand. It takes less power than the The big turret or the machine gun turret. So I don't I'm I'm so tempted to do this. Because it can cover the whole base. <laughs> it's got a minimum range that it can't hit, but it's inside our field essentially, so like, you'd almost be stupid not to do this, right? I'm sure people are like, no, you don't understand. I would love to be ex educated, though. And we're, we're moving on to CPU cores. Very excited about that. Because uh, that'll help us build more guns. That'll help us build more turrets. Very exciting. All right. Well, we've done good. We we repelled a, another mixed wave. Let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Stranded Alien Dawn or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.